Hoggett and I'm the blogger behind cheeselosingit.com. Today I'm going to give you tips on how to travel light. So as you can see, this is everything that I packed in a backpack for a 17 day trip to Europe. I packed four sundresses, one of them was fancy. I packed a book with an itinerary. Um, of course, there's my She's Losing It book. Sneakers, exercise clothes, um, layers, two pairs of pants, a curling iron. So this was the backpack that I took with me. It's one that kind of has bands that fits around here so it's more comfortable. And basically I started with this, which is our itinerary and all of the information that we need for our trip. I put it there. I'm a writer, so of course I have to pack a journal. So I put that here with my sneakers. I put them towards the base. Moving, I put things I wouldn't need right away towards the bottom. I rolled the clothes to make more space. Also, as you notice, I did layers. This, this is a sweater you'll see in pictures. I combined it with some of my sundresses so that it made it look like a skirt and a shirt. So that helped give different looks. I had my khakis and I wore my jeans on the plane. If I had to do it over again, I probably wouldn't pack the khakis because I didn't wear them very much. But the jeans I wore on the plane, I also wore sandals at the airport because they were easier to take on and off. Also for an added layer of warmth, I wore my vest on the jacket. It was light and loose fitting, kept me warm. Um, in the main compartment too, I had one of these. It, it basically held my passport and all of my money. Um, I kind of kept that in the inside part of my bag with the itinerary. I'm a fitness person, so I had to have my gym clothes, mom's tape butt, sports bra. Now I didn't feel the need to pack tons and tons of things because we went to a laundromat midpoint. Actually, one of the places that we stayed at um, had a washer and dryer in the unit, and that helped. Um, also, I left some room for things like t-shirts and dresses that I wanted to go and buy at the local places that we visited. So I deliberately packed kind of light. Most of the fabrics that I have here are um, pretty good. They're pretty wrinkle resistant. Like, I wouldn't pack something that was linen or anything that wrinkles really badly. Another tip, only pack clothes that you really love um, because these are pictures that are going to be in your family forever. So you don't want to go and have something that makes you feel frumpy. Of course, you have to pack a charger and uh, a converter if you're going to be in a place that has different power outlets. My husband packed that in his backpack. An umbrella. This was for my book. She's losing it. Which I took with me everywhere. Fitness person. I also took resistance bands, socks, underwear, that kind of deal. Um, a bag, just a gallon bag for dirty clothes. I put a dryer sheet in there and so that way um, it kept the stinky smell down. Trash bag for bigger things like shirts that got stained with, you know, ketchup or whatever. And over here, toiletries. Makeup bag. Oh, curling iron so I didn't have goofy hair all the time. An empty water bottle that I could fill up once I was past security and uh, snacks. So this is, you know, I had individual protein shakes and then I also packed um, Quest bars, protein bars. My kids pack snacks like 
like pretzels and almonds and granola bars. And goes like this. It connects here. You can also connect it up top here. Voila, backpack. I hope that helped. Please like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you, Riley, below. And I'll talk to you soon. See you next video.